This is lecture 11 in the series of learning about induction motors and this lecture is about the deep bar and double cage rotor construction for induction machines. So a basic limitation with induction motor is that constant resistance is that the rotor designed to be, to be a compromise of high efficiency under running conditions. So for the efficiency to be high, the resistance has to be low under running conditions to avoid the I2R losses or to keep the copper losses to minimum. But while you design a rotor as in case of a squirrel cage induction motor to have very low resistance under running condition and to produce maximum efficiency, what is seen is that the starting torque of the machine is very low and also due to the low resistance the starting current will be very high and in such cases these machines are very unsuitable for starting loads which have high torque requirements and one arrangement to avoid this is that you could use a wound rotor induction motor which has double layered windings as opposed to the rotor bar cage arrangement and the windings are connected in star internally for the three faces and the other leads are bought out and they are connected to three slip rings and these three slip rings via brushes are connected to external resistance so what happens is that the resistance of the internal external resistance can be added to the stator rotor circuit as shown the rotor circuit is starred and the three faces are bought out and they are connected via slip rings to the external circuit so it is possible to add resistance via brush contact at the time of starting and this increases the rotor resistance and the rotor torque and also reduces the rotor current by a slight margin so when the motor attains sufficient speed and the torque requirement is over then the brushes can be lifted and the resistance can be moved out of the circuit but what is seen is that the, the wound rotor motor are costly and are more complex in construction also the arrangement requires external resistance which can be complex so if the same action could be possible in squirrel cage motor it could be of great use to do this the thought process applied is that the rotor current frequency varies with slip and it is seen that the frequency while the starting process happens is close to 50 hertz and at the time of running as a slip decreases the frequency reduced to 2 to 3 hertz and so it could be designed such that it makes the resistance high during the time of starting and the resistance low at the time of running and the change in frequency can be exploited to do this via the effect of reactants which act in AC machines or where there is AC changing current and flux so to do this there deep rotor or deep bar rotors are constructed so in the construction of deep bar rotors the bars of rot induction machines or the rotor of induction machines are made more deep deeper in width length than the normal construction so what happens as shown by the circular dot here is that more flux linkage will happen towards the lower bar as opposed to the topper bar so where there is more flux linkage the reactance of that part will be more and the topper part of this bar will have low reactance but as the area of the lower topper part will be reduced the part which is having the low re reactance part will be less less at the top so more current will be flowing through the topper part and also this part will have a high resistance as the area is increase reduced now so the effective increase in the resistance of the circuit has been increased and the same effect can be achieved by a double cage rotor which has two cages or two bars one small bar at the top and one larger bar at the bottom and similar effect can be obtained for even the double cage rotor construction so what we see is that as the frequency of the operation comes close to 2 to 3 hertz that is during the running state the effect of reactance become very negligible and the current now equally flows between the top part of the bar and the bottom part of the bar so the resistance of the circuit has been reduced now so in this way an effect of increase in reduce resistance 
and reduction in starting current due to the increase in re resistance at the time of starting of an induction machine can be achieved. That's all. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment.